folks, uh, Ron back here from Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We discover a lot of a lot of uh, drone, drone tech, uh, drone accessories. And today we have a drone accessory here. We had the uh, the Master Asker props. We had the uh, four blade and three bladed ones. And uh, you know, you're probably saying, well, you know, uh, drone props aren't the most exciting uh, video around. But uh, we're gonna be a little background why, why I'm doing this. Um, we recently had a, a lot of people in the community. I know. Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, Backpack Jack over there in Spain, uh, she had a prop explode on her and she lost her drone and um, air photography and they were all flying the uh, stock propellers from DJI. These are a five bladed prop and um, you know the they would you know find recover their drone and the prop would just the, the, the base of the prop would still be on there but the rest of the drone the rest of the prop just kind of exploded and one theory is that um, they at the factory DJI tighten these uh, the screws too tight and they put like little, little like micro cracks in the props and that led to the problem now that hasn't been confirmed by DJI or you know um, anything like that so that's not official I'm just repeating what's being set out in the community so um, and, and another thing is too just the props are just too too thin and brittle um, you know so uh, again I, I, I'm, I'm just repeating what's out there in the community. Uh, DJI has acknowledged a, any of this uh, publicly so far. But um, so what we're here today is I'm going to um, install the um, you the um, I'm going to install I think the three bladed props first on the DJI Avada. I, I, if I didn't start them all at the beginning of the video, uh, this is the, about the DJI Avada. Sorry, I went on all about props and didn't tell you what uh, drone it was, but um, the Avada. Uh, so I'm going to put the three bladed props on, and uh, I, yeah, I've never uh, taken taken on removed props on the Avada. I haven't had that long compared to most folks, so uh, I'm going to try to uh, figure out how to do it properly. Uh, I'm going to try to refer to all the tutorials I have, and I'll show you my uh, workflow for uh, removing the uh, factory props and replacing them with the uh, Master Asker props, and then you know I eventually. We'll get it out for a test flight with the new uh, Master Escrews. Okay, so enough uh, jibber jabber here. Uh, let's get started on the um, the kind of unbagging of the uh, uh, Master Escrew props and the install. So uh, you know, sit back, get your favorite uh, get your favorite beverage, or enjoy your favorite beverage, and we'll be right back. Hello, uh, we're back with the segment here on. Uh, the Master Air Screw uh, props from uh, Master Air Screw themselves. Um, everybody knows Master Air Screw. They've been making, uh, we'll call them third party uh, propellers uh, for many years now. I mean, going back to, um, you know, even like kind of the more Toys Jonas era, you know, all the way up to, um, you know, DJI drones. Um, people probably remember when they came out uh, with the quiet uh, propellers to solve the. You know, the original um, DJI Mavic Air is, uh, noise uh, uh, issue. So, yeah, and everyone said, almost everybody knows these uh, Masker Air props. Everybody's probably owned, a, you know, a, a set or two in, in their day. And um, so right now what we're, we got here is uh, two different packs here. This is the uh, four-blade um, uh, DJI Avada upgrade propellers in red. Um, it's, uh, it's got other badging here. It says... You know, of course, Master Air Screw says, since 1976. Uh, wait a minute. Bad eyes here. 1978. So, um, and it's a simple package here. It's got, you know, made in the USA. You know, uh, that's good here. You know, got their website here. And, uh, you know, the barcode and the, uh, you know, the QR type code there. You know, uh, and here they're uh, talking about their, they're made in uh, California. Or, I don't know, the... Uh, Corporate headquarters in California, anyways. So yeah, just you know, a simple but a nice package here. And uh, you know, again, we have they come in different colors. I chose the red uh, in the four blade, and we have three bladed props also. Um, and these come in the blue, and you can see how they they look on the uh, Avada here. So we're gonna kind of uh, unbox these, uh, or unbag them, sorry here, and then uh, then we'll try to install them on the Avada. So, um, you know, uh, stay tuned and we're going to go right into the um, unbagging here. Now, I don't, I, you know, you may not even need scissors to get these open here. Um, on the top here, they have a, uh, you can split this apart here, right? 
and see they have a little um, resealable. Um, it's hard to see on this thing. A re little resealable thing here because it's like completely clear. But so you can put these, you reseal these back in the bag again. Okay, so let's see. Keep pulling out here. So it looks like we get a full set. And we got a little bag here of accessories. Make sure I got everything out of here. All right, that's everything out of the package here. So we're going to put this to the side here. And uh, there's no instructions uh, on the package itself. I know somebody's going to say, why do you need instructions and props? But uh, anyways, we just want to confirm that there's no instructions in there. Now these, um, this looks like a little, you know, you can see here, I'm not going to the bag here because I don't want to get lost. But these are screws. Uh, you know, you can, I guess... I don't know the screws that came with the Avada, uh, you know, with the standard propellers. Maybe they do not work with these. Um, we're going to find that out when we get to that segment of the video. But they did give you a full set of you know, extra extra uh, screws here. So we will get open that when we get to that segment because I don't want to have screws falling all over the desk here. Okay, as I was saying here, um, on closer examination, can you see the um, to the side of the prop here? They have like kind of these raised two lines there it's always hard to show this stuff keep it in focus i had to focus for a second here now you see those two you know there's two uh lines on both sides and you have two props like that and you have two props that uh, do not have the double uh double line thing on the side in fact nothing at all there you go so that's how you must be able to tell the um I don't even know how you describe it, the, the lefts and rights, the back fronts, um, you know, how, for when you install them. So, you know, the, the hardest thing about third-party props is, is figuring out how to install them, you know, for, for most people anyways. I know the blades will, you know, kind of look different too. So that's going to be the toughest part here is to get all these things, you know, kind of figured out, you know, what, what prop goes where uh, on the drone here. Because if you put them on wrong, of course, the drone won't even take off. It may, you know, it may just, you know, go right in his back as soon as it takes off. You know, to believe me, it, it won't go far. You'll have a crash, but the crash is going to be like, you know, like <laughs> right where the drone took off. So, okay, we're going to put these four-bladed props to the, um, you know, over here uh, off out of the camera view right now. And then we're going to open up three-bladed props here. So it's the same deal here. You can just pull the top, uh, the, the top of the bag apart here, and uh, you know it's a resealable deal, yeah, just just like the other one. And it's the same deal here. You get the four, you got a full set of props, and then you screws and nothing else in there. You know, no no instructions. Uh, you know, no instructions in the bag. Uh, you know, I want to go over to their website. They probably have a little guide on how to install them up. check it out over there on youtube or maybe the master air screw website it's the same you know back here the made in the usa logo uh rancho cordova in california is either where they make them or where their corporate headquarters is a uh, your qr code for more information uh showing the product and, and uh, that's this blue here so yeah nice, nice packaging you know uh, very well done I'll put that over here for a second and then these blades here, uh, they're much, as you can see here, the blades are much thicker than the four blade ones. Shorter, but much thicker um, as in comparison. And the same deal here. Some of the blades have this um, kind of multi-lined, um, I'm going to call it a raised uh, thing there, raised level, and then uh, the other ones... Do not have it they just have like a little a little uh little bump there notch little notch so and then it looks like that's the master air screw a kind of logo there i don't think that's telling me anything except that's their logo and then they have a um some numbers on here too actually it's a cw and then cb 29 27 so i don't know what those numbers mean but we'll do a little research to find out so we got the four blades and the uh, you know and the extra screws here so we're kind of ready to go so i guess it's time to get the avada out of uh out of mothballs here and uh you know and probably the fr probably the first step is to go to see if there's an installation video uh on their youtube page or uh on their website 
and uh, so we could figure out what what props go uh, where what uh, what that lay raised you know lines on the uh uh you know uh the inward side of the propellers mean so okay we'll be back stay 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 right there all right ron back here um i i did visit the um master Air screw uh website master Air screw did have a uh, kind of a simple um a video tutorial on how they uh, put the process on, but they also you could download a PDF where they gave more detailed instructions. And uh, apparently, um, you know, I was telling you about the difference in the props. Actually, they have um, labels here. Uh, you can want to be able to see it on the camera here, but it says CW here, and that indicates um, these are uh, the normal um, direction, and the other ones here, which are the um, the, these ones here, these are the um, CCWs, which are the reverse motors. Uh, so, uh, and the ones that had, again, these little bumps on them, they were the reverse motors. And the other ones were um, the, the ones with the, uh, uh, sorry, the, the ones with these raised things were the reverse motors, and the ones without, with just one single raised one rather than two, were the, um, the normal motors. So we're going to, uh, you know, uh, do the installation here that make more sense. And and, I, and, it, and it said, you know, I was wondering, I was going to get my toolbox, see what tool I needed. And they said to use the tool that came with your Avada. Well, um, I never opened the, um, you, you got a, a, a bag of two extra props with the Avada in the box. And inside this bag was another smaller bag. And this bag apparently is the tool, um, you know, to uh, take the props on and off. So, uh, that makes it handy if you're not a person that has many, you know, um, tools around the house. Uh, no problem. They're just inside this little bag here. And these nice little DJI bags are always, that are always, you know, have that little seal on them here. I don't know what the best way to open these things are here. So, let's see what's in this bag here. Another one bag. And here's extra screws that go along with the, the two props I showed you earlier here. The two extra props you get with the drone. And, um... Here's the tool here. It may take five minutes to get out of the bag here because it's kind of stuck, but uh, we will get it out eventually. It's kind of just stuck in the plastic there. Okay, here it is. A simple like kind of a hex uh, hex screw type of deal here. So you know, very simple, you know, very small. So um, and we'll we'll get to this in a second here. But they said one of the keys on the thing is say to um, you know, to tighten it down, but not to over tighten it because you could actually like ruin the motors. So, uh, yeah, it, uh, you, you don't want to read stuff like that, right? But, um, okay, what's going on with the um, installation? I guess we'll install the three bladed ones first. Even All right, so I guess we're going to use the, uh, you know, the uh, screws that came along with the um, master ass. So we're going to get them out of the bag, uh, put them right over here by the props, kind of semi off camera here. So, um, it looks like they gave you, uh, let's see here. You know, I want you to see what I'm talking about here. I don't want to get too of a wide shot here because I want you to see up close. Okay, there's two, four, six, eight. They give you the exact amount of screws. So they don't lose any. You don't get extra. No, you don't give you extra anything anymore, right? These are the, the days of... Uh, uh, the tough economy so okay and it also recommends to take them off one at a time i guess so you don't get yourself all disoriented here right. so um yeah they're showing um i'm going to show it like they show on the uh pdf here as as the drone's facing a front like this uh toward we're going to face like this so it really makes sense to me looking at the uh at the diagram so um the left one here is the reverse and the um to my left and to my right here, this is the normal rotation, reverse rotation. So then it changes on, on this side. So uh, normal rotations here and on the back side and the reverse rotation is on the this side here and the back side over here. So, um, so to set that up, um, and when I flip it upside down, it's gonna be confusing to me. But um, so right now, this one would take a, um, a, this here would take a CW. So let's see if this is a CW. This is a CW. So this, this blade would go there. Okay. So, uh, and then, um, 
this probably here is a, um, a CCW, so that would go there. And uh, I'm gonna move this in so you can see it a little bit better here in a second. So this is a, uh, a CW, so this CW goes on the back side here. And this, this uh, last one here has to be a CCW, and it is, goes there. So let me, uh, you know, so you can see this a little bit better on the camera here. So, okay. Yeah, so as I said, um, you know, this, this was the, um, the CCW. This is the reverse. And this is the CCW, the reverse. And this is the CW, the normal, and the CW normal on the back here. So, again... The most important, well, brother, the the number one most important thing is to get the props on right, and then it looks like number two most important thing is not to uh, the the tighten them down, but not to over tighten them. So, uh, so let's work on the fir first things first here. So, uh, and they recommend working on this like in vertical mode, like upside down. So um, we'll do that here. So. Um, so what's, you know, I'm not going to bore you with doing all four of them. Let's do one, and I'll do the other four off camera in, you know, the interest of time here. So um, here is one of the, um, I, I marked them here. This is uh, one of the uh, the reverse ones here, the CCW here. So let's loosen it up here. Go counterclockwise to loosen. You know, I may forget to say this later in the video, but um, it also says the three blades will allow easier access to the um, the hatch here, the memory card goes. I just thought of it because it's right here in the one I'm working on. Alrighty. So let's see here if this works better this way. See if I can raise over this back leg here. Kinda. Yeah, so either either end kind of works here. I think the tall end was working better for me here. Alrighty. So I know I was talking to Johnny Dillfire. He said he just put these screws right back in again, the one pre-existing ones. But I'm going to use the the new ones um, for no for no common sense reason. I'm going to use the new screws. I don't know if these are magnetic or not. I know I you know get my hand. Away. All right, folks. Uh, it's slow rolling here, but I think we're almost done. Okay, there's this one out, and here's the other one coming out here. Alrighty, and here is the stock power from uh, DJI Come. These are the ones a lot of people have, uh, you know, had DJI drones, uh, I mean DJI drones, DJI Vadas fall out of the sky, and a lot of them claim that uh, the power exploded on them. And uh, one of the theories was that... Uh, the propellers at the factory were over tightened and it caused cracks. Uh, now I'm going to examine this even even better late here than I'm looking at right now, but I cannot see any cracks whatsoever on it. Um, but um, again, I'm going to even look at that a little bit closer later on. So we're going to put that over here for right now, and we're going to put the old screws right over there now, also. So uh, we'll probably put them back and out of the bag so okay i know it's off camera here but i'm trying to keep this um you know right on top now you know the only thing i i saw even on the on the uh, uh prop that see how that orange dot there that must indicate the reverse uh motor uh for the dji one so i'm sure the ones in the bag it was one with uh the reverse one without it and it even has you can see the orange label here matching the orange thing i wonder why master asker just didn't put a little orange uh you know doohickey on here and uh, it make it easier rather than, um, you know, uh, doing things they did. But, uh, oh, well, uh, we figured it out. So I see what these little, these little, um, I'm going to call them these little bumps here are. I'm trying to get that. You can probably see them best if I angle it a little bit here and keep it in focus. These little things here on the side, um, the DJI ones, you know, ha had them too, if you can see that. Oh my, I'm getting in focus here. Um, and you can see there's a couple little holes um, right here um, on the side for them to catch it. So I can tell it that makes it easy because then I know this goes, this is the direction this thing goes. And it only has the hole for the prop 
on this side and not and not this side. So that makes it real easy to know which 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 end is you know which end is up here. I guess that's how you'd say it. Okay, so I can feel it fit in that hole there. And now um, I'll take two of my new screws here, and we'll get them in here. And I guess we'll just do one at a time, or start one at a time here. And this is the, the key part here where you want them tight so they don't fall out or anything, but also you don't want to over-tighten them. And number one, it said you could hurt the motors, and number two, you already, you know, kind of bust the prop crack the prop so that it's, uh, you know, so it won't explode in midair. Okay, to move things along here, I've uh, got them, uh, you know, almost all the way in. So we, you know, they're, they're not tight yet, but they're, they're getting there. So again, the most important thing here is not to over tighten according to everything that's being said. And of course, it's always hard to show stuff because you always get your hands in the way here. So they're finally starting to, I'm starting to find, you know, feel some good um, resistance here. So I'm getting them tight. I'm doing this, uh, this, the top up thing here so I can show you guys on camera here. Okay, now that feels tight, but not, you know, not too tight. Same thing there. That, that felt, that felt good. That felt just, you know, like they were locked in place, but I did not, you know, I did not keep turning them when when there was you know almost no resistance. So, okay, now folks, it's just a matter of doing the uh, the other one. So I think I've talked you through you know all this and you know showed you this part here. So I'll, I'll do all the same thing I did with all the other ones here, and then we'll come back when all all that's done. So I don't sit here and watch me you know slowly um, you know fat finger you know putting the rest of the three propellers on. So all right. Uh, stay tuned and we'll be back with the next segment. All right, and now that we have the three bladed um, master air screw props installed uh, properly, hopefully properly, on the uh, DJI Vibe drone, the next step is to um, take this uh, puppy out to the field and give it a good test flight. Make sure I got them on right and see if I see any difference in the performance with the, with the uh, Vada handle. So, uh, but we're going to save that for another video. We've, we've, you know, kept you way, way too long on this video here. So, uh, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to um, give the thumbs up if you got anything out of this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you'll know when I put more videos up, up specifically the video where I test fly the DJI Vada with the new three-bladed master air screw prop. So until then, uh, we will uh, see you in the next video.